Hi everybody, in this lesson we're going to go ahead and throw a canvas component in and we're going to throw in some labels and we're going to try to figure out where the x and y axis are in the canvas component. So let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to start off by grabbing two labels and I'm going to name one label x label and I'm going to name the other label y label. And the reason why I'm doing that is I want the X label to show me the X position of where I'm touching and the Y label to show me the Y position of where I'm touching. Next I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and throw in a canvas component. Cool. So I've got my canvas component here and my two labels below. Now I'm going to go ahead and go to my blocks and the blocks are pretty simple. What I want to do is say, hey, every time the pointer is down on the canvas, I want to change the X label text to be the active pointer or where somebody is touching. So I can find that under motion and grab the active pointer, the canvas's active pointer. So I can put that for the X label and for the Y label to make things easy, I can just right click on it and hit duplicate or I can copy and paste as well. I'm going to change this to be the Y label and I'm going to change this to be the Y label as well. And feel free to do this as well with me because we're going to try to figure out where the X and Y axis is. If I go ahead and hit live test here, so I've got it as the X axis is the top number and the Y axis is the bottom number. So if I'm trying to figure out the X axis, which is left and right, I can go ahead and start clicking from left to right. So I'm going to start off in the center and I'm getting 144. If I go right, I'm getting 200. So it's going higher. That means that the X axis, it starts off all the way on the left side of the screen. So I've got the X axis over here. Now let's try to figure out where the Y axis is. Remember the Y axis goes up and down. So I can go ahead and I can click and see that the Y is getting higher as I go down. That means that the Y axis is right over here. So what does that mean? That means that we're in the fourth quadrant of the coordinate plane system. Why would they choose the fourth quadrant? Well, the real reason is, think about Instagram and Facebook, how you can keep scrolling down forever and ever, and the numbers never end. The only difference here is they don't have it being a negative number, right? They just have it all being positive numbers. So. That's how the coordinate system works, and I'll see you in the next video where we're going to start building this painting app.